The Truth About Jake Zyrus Jake Zyrus, born May 10, 1992, formerly known under the mononym Cheris, and also known as Cheris Pampanko, is a Filipino singer and television personality. In 2007, after some appearances on Philippine television, Zyrus sang on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, and the following year, he made several international television appearances, including on The Oprah Winfrey Show. He then began performing in concerts with David Foster and Andrea Bocelli, among others. Zyrus released a studio album Cheris in 2010. It entered the Billboard 200 at number 8, making it the first album of an Asian solo singer ever to land in the top 10. The single Pyramid from that album, featuring singer Iyaz, is Zyrus's most successful single to date, charting within the top 40 in a number of countries after its debut live performance on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Crossing over to acting on television, he joined the cast of TV series Glee later in 2010 as Sunshine Corazon. In 2011, Before It Explodes, written by Bruno Mars, was released as the lead single from Zyrus's second international studio album, Infinity. Zyrus was one of the four judges of the Philippine version of The X Factor, on ABS-CBN, in 2012. He came out as a lesbian in 2013. He released further albums Chapter 10 in 2013 and Catharsis in 2016. He adopted his current name in 2017 and discontinued the use of Cheris Pampanko, after having male chest reconstruction and beginning testosterone treatment. Early life, Zyrus was born as Charmaine Clarice Relucia Pampanko in Cabiao, Laguna Province, Philippines and was raised by single mother Raquel. To help support the family, Zyrus began to enter singing contests at the age of seven, from town fiestas in various provinces to singing competitions on TV, eventually competing in almost a hundred such contests. In 2005, Zyrus joined Little Big Star, a talent show in the Philippines loosely patterned after American Idol. Eliminated after the first performance, Zyrus was called back as a wildcard contender and eventually became one of the finalists. Although a consistent top scorer in the final rounds, Zyrus did not win the title in the finale, placing third. Zyrus made some minor appearances on local television shows and commercials, but essentially fell off the radar after Little Big Star. Only in 2007 did Zyrus gain worldwide recognition after an avid supporter, False Voice, started posting a series of performances on YouTube. These videos received over 15 million hits, making Zyrus an internet sensation. Career, 2007 to 2008, Discovery and Early Work In June 2007, producers at 10 Songs Productions, a music publishing company in Sweden, invited Zyrus to a demo recording seeing online videos. Zyrus recorded seven songs, six covers and an original song called Amazing, and was next invited to the South Korean talent show Star King on October 13, 2007, singing And I'm Telling You I'm Not Going in a duet of A Whole New World with Q Han from Super Junior. Having seen online videos, Ellen DeGeneres invited Zyrus to appear on her show. He flew to the United States for the first time and performed two songs on the December 19, 2007 episode, I Will Always Love You and And I'm Telling You. Following this American debut, Zyrus made a second appearance on Star King on December 28 as the most requested foreign act, performing Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive and singing a duet with Lena Park. In January 2008, Zyrus was invited to Malacanon Palace to perform for President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Returning to the international scene, Zyrus next guested on the April 8 episode of the Paul O'Grady Show in London, England. The Philippine debut EP Cheris was released in May 2008. This mini-album, consisting of six songs and six backing tracks, was awarded gold certification in the Philippines in October 2008, and reached platinum status in 2009. Zyrus appeared on the edition of May 12 of The Oprah Winfrey Show in the episode World's Smartest Kids, where performing Whitney Houston's I Have Nothing. After the show, Oprah Winfrey contacted David Foster to see what the music producer could do for Pampanko. Zyrus performed with Foster for the first time as one of the entertainers on the May 17th opening of the MGM Grand at Foxwoods Resort Casino in Ledyard, Connecticut. This was followed by a debut on the international concert stage in Foster's May 23rd tribute concert, Hitman, David Foster and Friends, at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, performing a medley of songs from The Bodyguard as well as The Standard, and I'm telling you, a CD-DVD of this concert, including Zyrus the Bodyguard Medley, was released on November 11, 2008. The show was aired several times on PBS and other public television networks starting in December 2008 under the Great Performances banner. One of the singers at the concert was Pampanko's idol, Andrea Bocelli. 
Bocelli subsequently expressed interest in performing a duet with Pempenko with an invitation to be a guest on his birthday concert the cinema tribute held on July 20 at the Teatro del Silenzio in his hometown of Lagicico, Tuscany, Italy. Aside from the solo performance, Zyrus sang a duet of the prayer with the famous tenor in front of more than 8,000 people. Zyrus was invited to perform for the Feyenoord centennial anniversary in the Netherlands held on September 26 of the same year, singing the team's anthem, You'll Never Walk Alone in front of a crowd of about 50,000 football, soccer, fans in a guest appearance on the Dreams Come True episode of The Oprah Winfrey Show on September 9, Oprah referred to Zyrus as the most talented girl in the world. After singing Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On with David Foster on piano, Zyrus was surprised by Celine Dion's appearance via satellite, at Oprah's invitation, inviting Pempenko to sing a special duet at New York City's Madison Square Garden as part of Dion's Taking Chances tour. The promised duet took place on September 15, dedicating Because You Loved Me to Pempenko's mother. The performance received rave reviews in the New York Post and the New York Times, and was eventually featured on the September 19 episode of The Oprah Winfrey Show. Zyrus would then perform at the Andre Agassi Grand Slam for Children Benefit Concert at the Wynn Las Vegas Casino Resort. In November, Pampanko and David Foster appeared on Good Morning America to promote Foster's tribute album, Hitman, David Foster and Friends, performing the Bodyguard Medley and I Will Survive. 2009-2010, First Major Performances Cheris in 2010, in January 2009, Zyrus performed at two pre-inauguration events in Washington, D.C., in the lead-up to the first inauguration of Barack Obama, the Realizing the Dream Gala at the Hyatt Regency Hotel and the Pearl Presidential Inaugural Gala at the Mandarin Hotel. February performances at two post-Oscar award events followed, Oscar night at Mr. Chow's and Oprah's Oscar after party, held in the Kodak Theater. Zyrus then debuted a new original song, Fingerprint, composed by Robbie Nagel and produced by David Foster, and then appeared in April in the season premiere of T. Lacio Una Canzoni, an Italian musical variety show televised from Tetro Ariston in the city of San Remo. Zyrus performed I Will of the Japanese song Mikazuki by Asian for Lady Mist. In March 2012, Zyrus faced harsh criticism from the internet and the media after changing his hairstyle and fashion into a self-described edgy and rock look, responding, I know some people think that this is very rebellious but it's not. It's just me evolving. 109, on April 16, 2013, questions were raised after pictures surfaced online of Zyrus in masculine dress. In an interview, mother Raquel Pempenko said that she would respect her child's decision about his own identity. On May 28, the Philippine Star newspaper ran a story about Zyrus' 21st birthday party which was described as a coming out of sorts. On June 2, 2013, Zyrus said that he identified as lesbian at that time during an interview with Boyabunda at the Buzz in the Philippines, mentioning past relationships with other women in the industry. Nine months later, in March 2014, Zyrus debuted a new boyish look with much shorter haircut and more tattoos. In a 2014 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Zyrus mentioned being attracted to girls since childhood and said basically, my soul is male, but denied plans to pursue gender transition at that time. In April 2017, Zyrus broke up with Alyssa Quiano, after four years of living together. In June 2017, Zyrus announced the adopting of his current name and discontinued the use of Cheris, a name he previously went by, on Twitter and Instagram. Subsequently, Zyrus disclosed that he had undergone removal of both breasts in March, and had begun testosterone shots in April. In an interview with Papermig, he said I am always thankful for the life of Cheris that I experienced and the music that I shared, but that obviously belongs to her, it's not for me. I'm letting her go and be free.